Yo, welcome back to What's the Word Podcast with Shopboy Jimmy and Jay. This is your boy, Shopboy Jimmy. And we got a few topics for y'all today, man. Hey, first things first, we're going to kick it off with the Chiefs kicker, Harrison Butker. Uh, he did a commencement speech over the weekend at um, Benedictive College or whatever. Benedictine. Catholic. Benedictine. Benedictine. We're probably saying the name wrong, but... Benedictine. Uh, but not... <laughs> But a Catholic college or whatever, and he basically did a commencement speech, and it was like a twenty-minute speech. Um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people thought it was good, or whatever. He had a lot of things to say, but then honestly, I know. I mean, the people in the crowd thought it was good. I guess like the people that invited him thought it was good to get him there. But like, um, yeah, if y'all haven't watched it, it's a twenty-minute video on YouTube. The comments are cut off, so like you can't leave your comments or whatever. So you can speak on it on Twitter or like write a letter to the school or whatever. But yeah, so he's a Catholic. And he basically spoke at the Catholic school, but he was talking a whole lot of not nonsense because that's his beliefs. I guess you can say not nonsense, but it was crazy. Like, yeah, so um, controversial. Yeah, it's ex- extremely controversial. Super Bowl champion Chiefs kicker Harrison Butger get getting some backlash after his commencement speech at a Catholic university. It's for comments he made about gay rights, abortion, and the rule of women in society. ABC's Stephanie Ramos has the story. He kicked the longest field goal in Super Bowl history to lead the Kansas City Chiefs to victory over the 49ers. That is now nine consecutive makes from outside 50 for yeah. Butker. But this morning, Harrison Butker is making headlines for his remarks off the field. During a commencement address at Benedictine College, a conservative Catholic liberal arts school in Kansas. It is safe to say that over the past few years, I've gained quite the reputation for speaking my mind. Utker sounding off about working women. I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. Butker then referring to Pride Month, which celebrates the LGBTQ community as a deadly sin. Not the deadly sin sort of pride that has an entire month dedicated to it, but the true God-centered pride that is cooperating with the Holy Ghost to glorify him. I couldn't believe it was such an outdated, antiquated view on LGBTQ people and women and using religion in a way. Butker also mentioning priests who become too familiar with parishioners, illustrating his point by borrowing a line from a song written by a certain famous teammate's girlfriend. Because as my teammate's girlfriend says, familiarity breeds contempt. That line from Taylor Swift's Bejeweled quickly drawing the ire of Swifties, one writing, I didn't think you grasped the message of the Taylor Swift song you quoted. Go listen to all her albums as homework. The NFL reacting to the speech, saying Harrison Butker gave a speech in his personal capacity. His views are not those of the NFL as an organization. The NFL is steadfast in our commitment to inclusion, which only makes our league stronger. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC. Shout out Mark Brown. What do you say, Mike Brown? Mark Brown? Yeah, come on, Mark Brown. Uh, probably, uh, you can play him. I was, actually, let's get our opinion about that first and then bring up Whoopi because we're going to bring a conversation that Whoopi had on the view and her, her idea. But what you what do you think, Jay, about what? So I watched the whole 20 minutes of his speech. Yeah, it's the same thing I told you the other day. She's not wrong in his own belief because he's Catholic, which is I'm not Catholic, so I can't speak on his beliefs like that. I'm just going to say I would never say that at a graduation. I would have just said that in my own person. I think you got to think about they graduated from a Catholic college, though. I know, and and that's what I said. Like, I'm not mad that he said it there. Just, like, personally, myself, I would never have said that. I wouldn't get in there and say, ladies, congratulations on your degrees, but you guys should be wives and mothers. Like, Absolutely, yeah. I get what you're saying. You're not saying, like, a like degrading them, but just, like, to say that graduation is crazy, man. Like, And then, like, also in the beginning of his speech, he was, like, calling out, like, the Catholic Church and stuff, too. So that's what I'm just like, I can't really speak on that. You're saying what you believe your own religion is doing wrong. He even called out Joe Biden. I don't understand the Taylor Swift uh, quote because I don't uh, let certain music like that. But I mean, yeah, I don't know. I have like mixed feelings. Like, some you're not wrong because it's your own belief, but it's just like, I just, 
I wouldn't say. My thing about the whole situation, I watched the whole thing too, and it was like, honestly, like from the jump, he just basically went in. Like he, he ain't say, he, he, like he ain't sliding, he ain't, like he wasn't trying to sugarcoat nothing. He basically said, fuck abortion, fuck gay people, fuck you if you got a job and you think you're supposed to be a CEO or president of a company. Bitch, you know, you go be my housewife and you not finna do like, you know, but it's like he, the way he said it, but then like when he was talked about the priest and he talked about like the, um, uh, people in the higher powers or whatever. It's like he had people trying to be their friends and stuff. I actually thought he was going to talk into like the pedophilia and like go into yeah, deep, like, yeah, but he, he, and then he like, oh, uh, I don't have time to speak about that right now, but I, I, that's another situation I can speak on at another time or whatever. But then I was like, okay, cool, like, whatever. Then he gets to talking about, I don't know, he's just talking about all this stuff. And it's like, he was just going on and on. So like every time he took a breath, I was like, oh, okay, cool, like, that's the end. Like, they finna. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be it. And then he came back with some more wild stuff. Like, bro, like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, real juicy. It, it was like, just going. It, it, yeah. Like, the first 10 minutes was just like, that sounded weird. The first 10 minutes was kind of like he's going on his religion and all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. Then he's like, okay, now you're just getting low. And then, like, the, the example he said, like, with the women, he was like talking about his wife and he said, like, I know her. She didn't get the career she wanted, but she became the she most important title. She hates that. I don't make her. But he also gave her praise to it too. Like I'm not saying like she's like a slave or servant. I'm saying like she's the best man. Like, I think if you just stay at home wife, you're a slave. Like I feel like but, if you no. opt, if if you force it, like his mindset of like you gotta be a stay at home wife, you making her your slave. Now if the option is just like hey, like my husband just like hey, you hate your job, you can be a stay. But if you get with a man and he's just like work, bitch, <laughs> like go oh, bake some cookies. We just said, like, you okay, gotta, yeah. I mean, you got to say, yeah. so, oh, yeah, that's, 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 like, man, I'm at work and I'm like, man, this is madness. And my man just like, come on home. You don't got to do that. That's different. But his mindset is just like, y'all got these degrees. Fuck your degree. You need to go bake some cookies. You trying to make them slaves. Cause like, why would you say that at these people? They do they probably don't put in six years. They probably in there with master's degrees that you talking about some. Yeah. I got a question. That's, yeah. That's, that's really, that's what I was thinking too. Like, we had the conversation, I'm sorry, take your question away, but we had the conversation, uh, through via text message. Cause I was like, bro, like, I feel like that was wrong because like, what the fuck you trying to tell this girl that she can't be a CEO or she can't be like a boss and she got to be just like a, a pregnant wife. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like what the hell? And then women still fighting to like get equal pay. Like, yeah. What do you think, Jasmine? Real quick, but I'm going to ask my question after that. Uh, yeah. I kind of agree that. It, it's a little bit crazy. Like, I will say that, like I said, we're not Catholic. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'll say that we're not Catholic. So we are speaking our perspective outside of their religion. Mm -hmm. However, for me, I will say, like, we see that and it's like a little bit crazy because it is outdated point of view with the things you're saying. However, he has every right to have his opinion. Like, we have our opinions as well. But just speaking on my experience, like, I think he could have did a better job of like congratulations coming into it or whatever. Like it is a graduation speech. Like he pretty much denounced their accomplishments. Like he didn't give them any praise of what they're doing. Like, of course, most women, I'm not going to say all want to be mothers and wives, but that's not all we are. And he really just put them into this box of you're here to make babies. You're here to be a homemaker, you know, and that's that that's what you're here to do. Like this should be your greatest accomplishment. And who are you as a man to tell me? that's my place and that's only what I'm defined to. Like, women have fought so long to be able to be, you know, not only just second-class citizens as well. Mm -hmm. So it's There's like... probably women in there who probably can't even have kids. Exactly. So you don't know, like, how you're triggering people to a certain perspective. So I just think, like, he could have saved that for something more personal. He could have kept it on a more generalized level. But then again, like I said, this is a Catholic um, institution, However, I will say that when we jump back into it, we're speaking outside of it. I kind of looked at the perspective as well as looking inside of like, what are the Catholic women saying? He pissed off the Catholic women. So clearly what he said was made them mad as well, too. So I'm looking at that perspective of like, OK, even they think your views are outdated. Like, so there's a little something he needs to think about in the head with that. So I got a yeah. question real quick. So uh, you mentioned like the stay at home wife thing. And um, so as far as that, not necessarily that. OK, so say like beliefs is dealing with like religion. So I'm not I'm not Catholic. So I don't know how their views, standards are like lifestyles and stuff. But like, does that play like a role into like 
I don't know. Me personally, look, put the camera on me. I am looking to be a stay at home. No, just <laughs> I like if if again, like I feel like if I had the option to be a stay at home wife, I would be a stay at home wife with a part time job. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't be like fully like forty hours overtime. But like if my man was just like, hey, like I got you, like yeah, I'm gonna opt in and make sure I'm good. But in the same sense, like. I was still worried. You know, like, I'll have a little Macy's discount job. I'm like, you know, you know like, and that's okay. people are thinking, listen, like, that dude's a millionaire. Like, he's straight. His family's straight. That, right, mean, that don't mean nothing in the perspective of a woman, though. He could be exactly. straight. No, I said exactly. Exactly that. Okay. But that's the thing. Uh, that, like, a lot of people on Twitter, or well, X, or whatever the fuck y'all call it. Like, oh, that shit, I, I still call it Twitter. <laughs> but no, like, so they were saying, like, how he telling the women not to have jobs and stuff. Like, they need to be a mom, homemaker. But his mom was like a psych, uh, uh what? His mom was like a scientist or whatever a type of scientist, and she basically She's like a physicist. yeah, a physicist I think. And so she like she basically like they he grew up rich off his mom. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's like rich. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah. Some more. I don't know. It's like I just think on that aspect, it's like I don't know. It's like a lot of people saying he was uh, projecting himself onto people, right? Yeah. But then because like even like with the, the jab at the LGBT community, like a lot of people coming out. I don't know if this is true. I say allegedly. But on TikTok, they basically it's like a rapid hole of like a lot of like his college ex college people or like his roommate and like a few people like a gay chili or whatever like all this stuff come so like it's like people what say, did his dad do? I don't know what his dad do that anybody when I'm a researcher I haven't seen nothing about his dad I didn't do it a really deep dive I didn't research this man I just know that he a kicker from the sheeps and it's like his dad was a stay at home dad <laughs> <laughs> probably <was. laughs> nah, but that's my, that's my but I'm sorry I apologize on that note because when I did my research I just focused on the mother and like because like he was. I just felt like the the way he was talking, it was like, damn, his mom must have been like a stay at home mom or something. Like she must have been, and like, but it's like, nah, like she actually had a job. So I don't know. It's like, and I kind of agree with what she said. Like I feel like if you want to, as a woman, you're married. Your man should be able to take care of you, provide, be the leader in that relationship. If you want to stay home, I feel like why not? Mm-hmm. You know, I would love to be a stay at home mom. I don't think I would just like not do anything. I would go into the route of entrepreneur. Uh, entrepreneurship and I feel like I would you know have my man invest in me and I would invest in us and and have that come full cycle yeah um and you know do something from home take care of the kids you know um but at the end of the day too like I just feel like it, it was just so outdated the way he came about and like <laughs> I feel like he kind of just snaked him with it yeah he really <laughs> snaked he snaked him but it's like, found, I, yeah. I Google his dad. His dad is a financial uh, um, analysis, and he is a co-founder with his best friend, and he is a Navy veteran. This nigga is rich. I'm yeah. confused. Yeah. So that's but another like thing. Maybe, maybe his, his dad was all the way off, and his mom was a full-time. So maybe grandma probably raised, so his mom probably wasn't. Yeah, yeah so... No, so, it did come from somebody, but you can tell by his haircut. I so about yeah. <laughs> But a lot of a lot of women, sex. A lot of women were men. Nah, his beard his beard was nice. You can tell about white men haircuts like <laughs> you a little like, Yeah. His, a whole handful of gel <laughs> slid back. back. <laughs> hey, but you know what's crazy? The fact is though, he actually did a speech last year. Yeah. And he says it too like some uh at his Audemars. I think he went to I mean uh, pull that. Another college? Yeah, he did another college. He he went to the school he graduated from. Mm-hmm. His first the first speech he did last year. I don't put it up real quick. Can't remember. So they invited him to this one because I guess in the la- the one he did last year wasn't even like that outrageous. It was actually better than this one. It Georgia was- Institute of Technology. I think Catholics just have like the old testimony way of thinking. I feel like they never advanced in like their religion belief. Like you know how like Christians and stuff like that. Like I just feel like Catholics from how they set that Bible, they live and by that. And I feel like he just grew up in a household like that. So I don't fault him for what he's saying. I feel like a lot of Christians and Baptists like, oh, I'm just like, it's not for us. Yeah. But we don't have like, kind of what Whoopi said, like we don't have to believe what he said. It was very like crazy oh, yeah. for him to like say it at a graduation, but like that show up. But that was his testimony and that was him, you know, out of her like what he had to say. Like he clearly had a lot of time <laughs> on his chest. Yeah. And he said it with his chest. So yeah. who could be really, uh, you know, mad at him for expressing his opinion? Go ahead. Go ahead. Want to play that clip for us? Yeah, play that whoopee clip. I like when people say what they need to say. He's at a Catholic college. Yeah. He's a staunch Catholic. These are his beliefs, and he's welcome to them. I don't have to believe them. Right. I don't have to accept them. The ladies that were sitting in that audience do not have to accept them. She also compares the situation to Colin Kaepernick taking a knee during the national anthem, saying this. The same way we want 
respect when Colin Kaepernick takes a knee. Right. We want to give respect to people whose ideas are different from ours because the man who says he wants to be president, you know who? Yeah. He says the way to act is to take away people's right to say how they feel. We don't want to be that. We don't want to be those people. Well, Whoopi expresses her belief that Harrison is entitled to his views. The 68-year-old notes that doesn't mean those in the audience have to take what he said to heart. So I'm okay with him saying whatever he says, and the women who are sitting there, if they take his advice, good for them, they'll be happy. If they don't, good for them, they, they'll be happy in different ways. Well, that's my attitude. During the May 11th commencement speech, Harrison touched on many topics, including what he views as women's roles in society. It is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. <laughs> How many diabolical lies, Grace. To cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career. Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I'm on this stage today and able to be the man I am because I have a wife who leans into her vocation. All of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school. Nothing get emotional. With convert to the faith, become my wife. Very fun. And embrace one of the most important titles of all, homemaker. Though no action has been taken. <laughs> The most important title, oh, wait, the most important title of them all, homemaker. Okay. He Mike John. He could have said a wife because there's a lot, homemaker is a lot into a wife, but a homemaker is in space. See, that's why I said I would never oh, hear that. Oh <laughs> but a wife, like, like, okay. that would have been a little different. Like, okay, there's a lot that goes into being a wife, but a homemaker, like, what? what? I had saw, um, uh, Kurt Frank was on his podcast and like he had basically said something in the sense of just like a woman's thing is not to just be a wife like you are fulfilled and I do feel like so like what he says is like what a, a lot of women think because I'm not gonna lie a lot of women like what he said was very accurate a lot of women do like I can't wait to find a husband I can't wait to have kids and stuff like that but I do feel like the reason why I started my little self love journey of like not dating and stuff like that is because like I don't want to feel like I'm 30 now and I'm like, I'm not dating. I don't got no man. I don't have no contender. So, like, to the eye, just like, damn, Brenda, like, where your husband at? So, like, I really want to go on that because a lot of women do think like that. So, he ain't said nothing that women don't think. But it's just like a homemaker. I was a child. And then his wife's just like, I, I support what he said. And she probably miserable as hell with them goddamn kids. As a mom, she at home miserable with them goddamn kids. Please. <laughs> like, okay, so, I got a question. So, seeing, like, the context of, like, okay, he's very religious. He's at a Catholic institution. Was he out of pocket? He was out of pocket for the homemaker. Mm. If he if he said, like she said, Jasmine said, if he would have said wife, homemaker, like your whole being, when you came out your mama coochie, like when she raised you up, but like that's how so many women was raised. Like you have to like cater to a man. So like he didn't say anything wrong, but I, I he didn't say nothing wrong now that I say it like that. Because like that's what the generation like that's what we were taught as women, Jasmine yeah. Samuel. Like, You're taught to, to really care for a man. Like and when you you, you can have master, the doctorate, you can literally o open a hospital. But once you get proposed to, they're like, oh, my God, you're a wife now. Like, everything goes out the window. Like, you get a bigger congratulations of getting married than getting your doctorate. Mm. So, like, for us, I feel like with a lot of women, for us, the the big uh, gist of our life is catering to a man, making sure that we're ladylike, we're elegant, we're living in our femininity. Like, all of this stuff is literally catered towards you finding a man. Like, it's not really like, okay, make sure you're personally developing yourself, figuring out who you are, making sure you're a good woman, and then, you know, using those skills to find a man. It's, it's not that. Like, a lot of women, I feel like, don't get to have that developmental growth. And it is just about a man. And then when you That's get like, a man, you get lost yeah, into a like, man. I just made a status on Facebook. And I was just like, you get into a man and they biggest like insult to you. If you single, it's like, that's why you single. That's why you don't have a man. And like, that's like, ooh, like, no, no, it's no, like no. burn. Like, it's just yeah, like, and but no. this man comment, he was just like, because it is. That is an insult. So not have a man. Of everything I'm doing in my life, you think I don't care because I don't have a man. And, and that's another thing, too, I will say. It's a little bit off topic. But a lot of women now, like. That is the whole man versus woman thing. Like, that is an insult. You're going to be living with your cats. You're single. A lot of women want to be single now because they realize, like, 
okay, let me develop myself, get myself together. And then when the right man comes along, I'm going to be ready instead of just jumping to to the next thing that like, you know, I feel like, you know, we have all these stipulations. Like you have to be married by this time. You have to have kids by this time. And when not, you're not valued. You live, you're dear to out. Valued as yeah. One. And then as a man, you, even if we go into the Kevin Samuels thing, mm-hmm. Kevin Samuels was big on that. Like, oh, you would, you would not that that little age. Like after this point, but like, he, nobody's he, gonna he, would, he would literally say like, a man, he goes up in his value. Well, she hit thirty five. I'm like, I'm thirty, babe, and twenty three years on me. So like, but it's like I have a different mindset. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not, babe. But, I, <laughs> but like, I have a different mindset from that. I'm like, if if a lot of women don't have that, but then again, a lot of women got daddy issues, so they is taking advice from men who they think is in higher power because a lot of women do want a man of higher higher power. Mm-hmm. So like, to a gold digger, she he, she like, oh shit, I gotta be a goddamn homemaker. Mm-hmm. Like to a gold digger who just want to be a stay at home wife and have a man who playing the NFL, she finna go be a homemaker. And she's okay with that because she really don't really want to be around that man. She wants the money and what comes the with lifestyle. it. And hey, if my man work forty to eighty hours a week and I don't have to see him and I'm getting that money and I can and take I'm, vacations by my car, I can just shop and I can get my body. There, a lot of that. women do that though. But a so, yeah, a woman that wants a, a man, a husband that's active and around and treats them right. Like you're not necessarily looking for that. You're those are the willing women, women in the world. Add to right you, now. like yeah. So you know. So question. The fact, so he says at a graduation, with that, if you were at your graduation, this dude said this, what would y'all react? We don't have a, we don't go to a Catholic school, so I don't think it'll, I don't okay, know. okay, say, <laughs> yeah. All right, so. But it, but it, no, it, it, everybody not because well, we speak on yeah. Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels just got on the podcast, like, and I never said anything Kevin Samuels was said was he wrong. Did. Yeah, but no, I'm just saying like his whole podcast exactly. was like what kind of yeah he did, did. man. You know he did. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, he but, no, I'm just saying like that's what his whole podcast was about. He wasn't yeah. Catholic. We don't know yeah. what his religion was or whatever. But I'm just saying like in a sense of that, like he kind of like that's how men think like out of certain and i would say that even then like the black uh, i'm sorry to say but like in my opinion the black community Mm -hmm. holds a lot of those values as well as thinking like women if you just look at the conversations we have in that women are for babies coochie and 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 to be wives apparently you know that's that's y'all think men there you go i don't think all men think like that i think we come i we think if we speak another black community we got to think a lot of black men didn't have that yeah. Okay. So like oh, a lot of men, a lot of a lot of black men, you got to think we care. We grew up in the hood. All we grew up in the hood, right? Yeah. Like a lot of black men got put on with drug dealers, and these were there. These are the people who they looked up to. And what was drug dealers' mindset? They want to hold. They want the money. They want the fast cars. So these were the men now, and then we grew up in a fucking society where you wore some goddamn short shorts as little girls. You fast. Okay. We, we just hot. We just hot. So like this is what our this is what we grew up in. So like I do feel like a lot of people in the black culture don't look at women as wives. That's why so many of them you gotta think when they go to the other side, they be like, Oh, well, because y'all do this, y'all do that. And then you meet their mama, you like, Oh, your mama is everything you hate. They have mommy issues. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's that's I tell I can tell a man in a minute, I'm like, You got mommy issues, you want you want your mom to hold you. You want your mom to hold your hand, hug you, and now you want me to penalize it for me. Mm-hmm. I promise got you, I got called a bitch yesterday. I, I met this man at the promontory. I went to the promise on uh, Thursday. <laughs> Yesterday was Friday. So like I'm I'm literally politely, like literally like he wants to meet up with me, right? I confirmed at two thirty, he's supposed to meet at four. At three thirty he 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 um canceled. He stayed outside. We was meeting in Oakbrook. Y'all from outside from yeah, outside to something. Oakbrook, it's like a little hour at yeah. four o'clock, right? There's so a, I'm just traffic. like I'm like, oh no, I decline. I'm like, I'm declining. I'm like, but I wish you the best weekend. Have a good weekend, love. Like I'm literally being so polite. That man said, "Why are you a bitch? Why are you why are you acting like a bitch?" <laughs> but and literally persisted to go on with it. And then texted me this morning and said, "You still mad?" And then started calling me. I put him on the block list. This is what black women is dealing with. Yeah, I've heard those stories so many times. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like it's it's it, it it's kind of crazy. Uh-huh. So like yeah. That's what black women deal with. So then like, everybody be mad when we go to the other side. It be like, yeah, because we done tried our goddamn hand in black women. And, but, and, a, lot, and a lot of, now I'm not even putting like that because I want to marry me a black chocolate 90s fine man. <laughs> like, I want that for me. But it's just like, to a certain extent, like if I'm studied, like right now, I haven't dated for three months, right? I haven't dated for three months because I'm like, I really want to work on myself because I don't want to be no pick me woman. Like, you know, like I really want, like when I find my person, like I want to know that like I can really like add value onto him because like I'm not coming unhealed. But it's just like I stepped out today and I got called a bitch. 
I ain't never got, I'm like, God, damn. <laughs> like, you know, but it's just like, so now I am contemplating, like, damn. Like, maybe I should date, like, somebody, because I'm like, I'm really trying to work on myself, and I'm I'm literally, like, I can let y'all read the text thread. I'm like, have a good weekend, love. Have a good weekend. Like, I'm literally, like, declining him politely, and I still got called a bitch. Mm. Well, that's a crazy black man. I mean, yeah. That ain't no regular black man. We, we, well, you gotta, y'all not like that. You gotta think, like, y'all not, y'all not mm. dating black men. Y'all dating black women. So, as a black woman dating black men, a lot of people, like, all black like, men ain't like that. Majority? Mm. Can't speak. I never dated a black man. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But black men honestly try to I, speak on black men. Like women dating black women. I was like, y'all not out here dealing with black men. Like as a and I will say that like, I think black men don't realize uh, as a as a man with a man being a friend and dating him, sleeping with him, engaging with him behind the scenes is different than the friendship with them. Like they don't understand that the dynamics are a little bit different. They're going, to, you know, they're showing. uh a different side of them that they're not necessarily going to show to your friend. So it is a little bit different. Like, Oh no, keep talking. <laughs> I'm like, keep talking. But yeah, it's crazy. I hear. So I don't think he personally said not to run because like everybody do think like women's purpose on earth is to literally be a wife. And I hate that for women at all. Kurt Franklin hit on, I forgot. I think he might've been interviewing with Shannon. I forgot who he was on the interview with. And he was just like, I just want women to know, like, your purpose, like, you not incomplete if you don't meet a man. Ever since I heard that, I swear to God, I started working on myself because I'm just like, I low-key was just like, damn, I'm turning 30. Like, you know, like, I don't, like, I ain't in the potential of, like, getting married. But I do feel like white women, though, white women got raised into that. So that's why they get married so young. White women get married at 20, 23. So now for black women, it look crazy for us because, like, they get married in college, fresh out of college. But white women... I feel like they whole being is to talk to be a wife because like they get married at 23. You be 23. Like I'm like, you ain't even experienced life. Like, and I, and I could speak on that as well. Um, with growing up in kind of like a rural, um, suburban area, I was raised like in a all white town pretty much mm-hmm. where there's a couple black people in my class and I was around a lot of white women. That's why I like, I can speak a lot on like white women and white men's behaviors because I've been around them my whole life and I will say that they are definitely raised a different type of way they're raised to basically but be subservient to a man to find a man like they they really like what he's saying I can speak that 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 is really like so if they're raised to like black women but I'm like to white women like that's their household yeah that's how they're raised there's nothing wrong so, like that's uh, when that's they're the agreeing thing. to that yeah but see the thing is too like we were just talking about like what he said isn't technically wrong in his own belief. I think the setting was just wrong. And like you guys said, it was kind of like outdated uh, belief too, but it's just like. I think I think we got to think of the culture. We got to think of the race that he's talking to. Like it was crazy to us to have the black people. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, <laughs> like, that's the way we yeah. really miss it. I'm just like, as a black people, it was crazy to white. Like I understand some white people don't feel that way because some, you know, but like. Majority of white women, he he had like everybody clapped for him. It wasn't like a, no, and it, that, and it wasn't like a like a, it was a yeah, yeah. yeah. talk your shit <laughs> like. But that's the thing I feel like because like with Christ- Christianity and like um religion or like Catholicism or Buddha like whatever uh, any religion y'all got cool, but it's like at the same token it's like one God and it's like I feel like you know what I'm saying Jesus walked around. We talked about Jesus last time podcast like we he walked around he saved everybody his best friend his baby his. To love his life was, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say baby mom. I was gonna say baby mom. I was gonna say baby mom. Mary, oh like, my God, like, what what baby mom? No, was Mary, Mary. No, I was like, hey, hey Mary Magdalene. Mary, Mary Magdalene. I thought the one. The, Mary the baby mom. You call Mary the baby. <laughs> no, not Mary his mom. I'm talking to. I'm talking to Gwen. Well, I know you're talking about the, the prostitute. Yeah, that was his home girl. His like he was his. What was her name? Then then he named her Jezebel or something like that. Was that her name? No. They call her Jezebel. He basically said the uh, something about the first who throw the, one without sin throw the first stone. I think that's where that came from. Uh, I don't don't quote me. I'm sorry, my sister. My sister go kick my ass because I forgot this scripture. But anyway, long story short, what I'm trying to say is that like Jesus basically ain't judge nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like if you really trying to pass down the uh, the scripture, pass down like the sense of like spreading uh, the gospel, or, like the spirit or love you want to say, the, you can't night. be out there to. It's and talking same, crazy about and everybody. First, in First Corinthians, God did talk about being married and like not having sex. I, I feel like 
And you know, well, we did say that too. And, for, yeah. and, for, and I just read it. Like, I could probably pull it up. Like, and, and all let, me, soon. let me try to pull but that's it up. The thing. That's, that's but, like, the in thing. the Bible, it do say that, though. And I feel like so many people, like, and not to come at you when I say that, mm. when it comes to other religions, people start trying to come and, like, preach the Bible. Mm-hmm. We don't live by the Bible. First Corinthians, verse uh, chapter 7. So, like, not saying, like, we, you don't live, I don't live by the Bible either. Like, I'm trying to, no, you know, get my faith and stuff like yeah. that. But I do feel like when it comes to conversations like this, all the Christians want to be like, Oh, well, in our Bible, and I'm just like, we ain't living by that. Like, we we take it. Like, so many people would be like, like how I'm like, I can say like, oh, First Corinthians chapter seven, verse two, or verse seventeen, and we don't miss one through fifteen, yeah. and like that's a whole different type of thing. People take that one little scripture and like try to, and I understand God do give grace, He do give mercy and stuff like that, but I feel like we can't talk about Christianity when it comes to Catholic. Yeah. It's different. It's like I feel like it's two different religions because like they do what they do, we do what we do. But I'm just trying to compare the fact that like we all trying to serve a God. We all trying to serve the purpose of getting to heaven. Like we all trying to be a better, a better, better. That what they buy you say? I'll be a homemaker. Yeah. I ain't read the Catholic. You talking about Catholics? Yeah. I, ain't, yeah. I mean, it don't say. I, well, I'm, don't quote me. It doesn't really say like be a homemaker, but in some sense, it does. Okay, so let me read y'all. It might actually say Omega, though. I'm not familiar with it. So, if you read 1 Corinthians, though, it do say, like, the man um, is, like, to find a wife, and, a, and the wife, the husband, is to be devoted to the wife, and the wife is to be devoted to the husband. So, like, ain't that kind of, like, the same thing, though? It is kind of the same thing, but it ain't saying shit about uh, not going to college and getting her degree. And act- so, it's like, I don't know. It's like but, if you, but if you really think about being it, like, devoted you, to can your- find your, you can find your husband at 18. So, like, we 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 started taking our own opinions of the Bible. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, it could be, like, I found my husband at 18, and, like, now I have to be devoted for him, so college ain't in the picture of that. Mm-hmm. But so, it could be like that. I'm saying, like, the 18th century or whoever, the King James wrote his version, then we got the American version, yeah. then we got the the Greek version, then we got the uh, Jewish version, then we got, so everybody got their own inter- interpretation of the Bible. Mm-hmm. So it's like, literally, it's like, however you interpret it, that's how you interpret it, and like, can nobody take that from you? Cool. Mm-hmm. But at the same token, it's like, you have to have common sense, I and mean, then you have to have some type of, like, they said like, common sense or common sense? No, you have to have some type of logic, because you, like, a lot of people use religion, or like, the Bible as a weapon, when it's like, like you said, they skip all those other, all those other verses, all those other, um, uh, things and it's like they go to the one part that uh, prove the point. Them, yeah. yeah, and it's like I feel like if everybody actually used the Bible as like what it's supposed to be used for as a reference guide for life, then it'd be cool. But like a lot of people try to attack somebody. Like a lot of people talk about the uh, sex workers, or a lot of people talk about the LGBT, talk about the black people. Like how like they try to use Nat Turner to preach and try to use that as slavery. So it's like it's a lot of stuff that you can use the Bible for, but it's like people use it in the wrong sense, in yeah, the wrong sure. sense. I mean, Absolutely. so like yeah, like so with like traditional like beliefs. And modern beliefs, that's kind of where it clashes then, right? Yeah, it's I think that. Like, like, that's exactly where it clashes. Yeah, like religious views, which are traditional, mm-hmm. they've been going on for years, versus that like modern stuff. Because back when the Catholic Bible was written, any Bible was probably written, a lot of stuff that we value today was not deemed acceptable back then. Yeah, you know? I feel like that's the problem with dating nowadays. I'm like, a lot of people want tradition, but we live in the modern world. Mm-hmm. I'm like, and things are different. If you go, if you go on a traditional life, you got to live that traditional life. Like, you can't be modern. You can't be a modern woman and wanting a traditional man. Like, you can't be a traditional uh, man and wanting a modern woman. You know, not be a traditional man and you know not wanting to provide and wanting want traditional a traditional woman. <laughs> and you want a homemaker. She got to work. She got to work 50 hours a week and cook you. Rub your well, goddamn feet. Care the kids. See, that's, Hello. That's, you just go to work and kick your feet up. <laughs> see, I think that's where... Like, you got to be both parties mm-hmm. together working collectively is what I think. And see, that's where, like, the uh, conflict comes in with, like, some of what he said. Because, like, he's, his life could be straight traditional. You know, his wife could be okay but with that. Mom, though, like, but, his mom wasn't like that. That's his, his mom, mom was a working yeah. woman. I mean, that's his mom. He, he really didn't say she couldn't work. Like, he even said, like, his wife, she... He, no, he said, he, to that no what if you really deep dive what he said he said yo you are to be a homemaker that's what he, he was saying that comes said, first and then whatever little bit of time sprinkled in between maybe like when i die it. then you can do something like, maybe you can have a hobby <laughs> <laughs> maybe no, no, go he, play tennis so like what he was saying too was like she had aspirations to have a career he pretty much said like based on what i had going on it made it easier for me to be a yo Stay home. You take care of the kids. Cause you gotta think about it too. Well, he he. Well, let me ask you. Okay, what if he go out right now and break his ACL or something? 
And like, what if he do something, say nigga on the mother with the ER on there, and then they they do his whole oh, he, contract. Yeah, he, he, he kicker. I hope he don't. But but no, it's just what I'm saying though. But I'm just yeah. like, you know, so much stuff can come in. Like being an NFL player, being in the uh, NBA player, like that is not forever. Like so, people will dra- drag yo, and so then it's just like now you got to sit down and now y'all got to figure out how y'all gonna get this money instead of letting your life be pa- your wife be passionate. Because if you really really want to be a hundred percent honest, because he makes so much money, y'all can have nannies up in there, and your wife can do what she want to do. She can have her career because y'all can afford that lifestyle for her to be able to work her job all right but you see so all right so let's talk about his situation he's a pro athlete right if you were dating a pro athlete they're about to get drafted he'd be like yo i want to have a family with you but i won't be gone a lot i don't be on the road we can get a goddamn nanny we can get why should why they can't get no nanny she like what what does she want to do like what if she has she went to college so she has something in her mind that she wanted to do I don't give no fuck. Yeah, you you on the road and you can do all of this and stuff like that. So just because you chose your career, my whole life has to stop. Is what you saying? Like no, my no, whole no, life no, has no, to stop. no. That's I not what I'm saying. You. I'm saying I'm asking you like so if you were in that situation with somebody and they were about to like become a pro athlete and they'd be like, yo, say like y'all have a kid already. Let's not even say y'all plan to have a kid. Y'all have a kid. Be like, yo, I'm finna be gone. I go to training camp. I got to travel. I'm gonna be X, Y, and Z for six months all on road. But I need you to hold it down. What is, what the hell does hold it down mean? Explain hold it down. You got to stay home with the kid. And that's uh, something I, I feel like you have to talk about. Hard like, pass. If we're that's in a I'm marriage, pass. it's not you that's telling different. me what I it's need a to conversation. No, no, I'm saying like, it's, no I understand. Do? I'm saying from my perspective, it would be a conversation of us figuring out together what we need to do and taking both people's input because in a marriage, it's both of us. It's not you telling me what to do or me telling you what to do. It's us collectively coming together as a whole to figure out what's the best for our marriage, that's for us, our like. family. And that's what I was asking. Like, so if okay, you need to so hold let, it down, let, cool. Like let's she flip said. It, but let's flip the script. Though. I need a what if she? Then. What if she say no? What if she? I say, I don't want to hold it down. I want you to stay here. Then what would you do? Let's flip it. You're going to tell them to not be a pro athlete and make millions of dollars to stay home with What What if she but said, if what if what she said I'm, I'm in school? Then, let, let's take it to the game. Remember the uh, game? She in school to be a doctor. Let's no, let's let's play. Like, terrible. I but know how that shit. But, she was like, bogus. No, but, but, she wants some bogus. Like, Durant. Let's flip it though. Uh, flip it bogus at the end. Durant snapped though. But flip it though. It was Durant's fault. He was in school to be a doctor, and he was in the NFL. He had he was breaking injuries and stuff like that. Like her career was gonna be her fucking career as a doctor. So what if she flipped and she like, no, I'm in med school. I I need you to stay and and hold it down. What would you say? Yeah. Um. You see, uh, you see, you see how you see making change. millions of dollars. Versus you're in med school at the no, moment. No, probably millions of dollars. You can be a guy. And, and that doctor get off the bed. can make a lot of money as well. James, everybody who go to the NFL is up there making millions. Everybody that go to the NFL no, making millions. No, 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 they're not. They're exactly. Not. But you how have. You know you gonna, how you know he going to be the one to make the millions? He is now, though. That's no, what I'm saying. We, we speaking <laughs> hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, yes. If you were just taking a gamble. First off, let me be honest. If you know you're that nigga on the. On you know, athletic side, you know you gonna make. You the, you that nigga at your college. You ain't just that nigga in the NFL. They know already though. They already know like yo, I'm. Okay, okay, okay. Let's position, let, let's it make is. it into something else. Okay, um, what's the man from what? What's the Steph Curry? I mean, um, Derek the, the, Rose. He got in and kept injuring himself. He's still rich. How rich is he though? Put really up his, pull up his network. No, now. we're not putting on our network. But, but listen, we ain't checking no, no pockets. Don't no, ain't. But, 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 no, don't we ain't checking no pockets. Let's pause. Shout out my boy Derek Gross. The Simeon alumni. I just, I just want to prove my point. What? I just, no. I just hey. want to prove my point. I just want to. Hey, get off that. Get off that. We ain't checking no pockets. Because then imagine if his if his his girlfriend, baby mama, whatever they is, imagine she just like, I want to be go to school to be a doctor, like the highest paid doctor. Like then I want to open up my own like, you know, hospital. Then I want to do this. Like this, these are possibilities. But I feel like James, like you got that mind. So it's just like, well, you NFL player, doctor, like doctor. I'm not saying no, 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 no. the NFL. Wait, wait. I'm using logic. I'm talking about you already have a family, already established. Yo, I'm gonna make this amount of money right now. But versus, what if she was? This, but I'm just trying to start. You have a family in- now. I'm not talking about like if you just you just meet up, y'all just still kicking it. If you and that's your girlfriend, fiance, whatever, she can do what she wants. She got no kids. She can go to med school because he's a pro She can still do that. But what if she's a wife family. if she decides she wants to go to school, back to school, and be a doctor? That's fine. But I'm saying you still got to prioritize what are we doing now? We have kids. But no, you said they was going off. Like, it's like I'm, I got to go off. You got to hold it down. What That's if, she was, saying, what like, if she was already in school? Like, was she supposed to stop? If you already, if she's already in school and he has aspirations to have millions of dollars and y'all have a family. Is she supposed to stop? 
don't, you want him to stop? And he's making millions for being a doctor. A doc. A he's doc- making millions right now. From being a doctor, I'm saying he's making y'all have kids. He's making millions right now. Not saying you can't even do it. If you, if you got millions of dollars, then you we wasn't. No, that was was that his hypothetical. His hypothetical is like he was going off. Well, right? basically, like, yeah, like he's you got to stop what you're doing to hold down. Because that was because he trying to switch the whole thing. No, say, my, okay, I'm a, let me say something. <laughs> let me say something. Well, I was. I feel like no. I feel like literally. Okay, he an NFL player. He making millions right now. Cool. He can support her. He can pay for her to go to school. No loans so whatever. But then you, like, on your aspect, if she want to become a doctor, let her become a doctor. Because the nigga can break his leg. He can go get injured. He can do anything like, like that. What if and she's she like, can... I need you to take a year off the NFL to to support me? Because I, like, would you do that? See, that's the thing. It's like, I feel like See? that. Why would you do that? Look at no. his face. No, no. Why See? would you do that and you in the NFL? No, a lot of people because have done got that. Million, so why you can't take a break? Because the NFL million. is only like 10 years. Most you can't, so you can't do now? For me to be the a uh, doctor for that's the rest of our life, that's not how the NFL works. You got ten years, and I got that's the rest not, of our life. That's not how the NFL works. You got to stay in there a certain amount of time. And they actually give you a pension after that too. You can make your max amount of money the longer you stay in the NFL. But why so, not? Why not capitalize the money of your girl? You could still like, become be a doctor a... later. You could be a doctor. Oh, why? Later. But this is the point. Why she gotta wait till goddamn later? This is the point that I want to do. Now. This is the point. <laughs> I, I want to to say that exactly out your mouth. Why she gotta pull off on her dreams? Because, because, but that's no, 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 that's no, why no, so no, many no. wives oh, are wait, so wait, miserable. Wait, wait. No, let me talk my All shit right, now. Wait. That's why so many wives are so miserable because they always gotta hold off. They have these goddamn kids, and that'll be like, oh, when my kid turn. 18. You know, so many people like, oh, my kid finally, they kids in college, graduated from college, now they finally going off to college. Oh, my husband finally retired, now I can finally live my life. Fuck that, ladies. If you got some dreams of aspirations, aspirations, don't let no nigga, no man, no, not even they ain't all niggas. <laughs> don't let no man stop you from your shit. Like, why you gotta be 50 finally becoming a goddamn last tech that you want to do when you was 20? Pop your shit right now, and if he ain't gonna support you, like, you see how the conversation just went? Oh, hold off. Don't hold off shit. No, you, no, no, no. you are not a man. Everything in your life is not no goddamn man. No, no, Pop I'm... your shit with or without that man. If that man feel like, well, you ain't going to support me, I'm going to leave him alone. Let him go. Let him go, babe. Like, it ain't even fucking worth it. No. Mm-hmm. See, what I was saying was, difference between, like, holding off to be a doctor versus being in the NFL is different. You can always go back to school and become a doctor at any point in your life. You can't go back to the NFL once you reach a certain point. Then you can make the maximum amount of money once you're in the NFL at that moment. NFL players gonna make the amount of money they make after they retire. But the point of, and I was I'm sorry, I'm, point. Point. I'm saying I'm not saying like as a woman you just gotta put down hold. A lot of them choose to do that anyway. They don't even have kids. I'm talking about you have a family already, and it's like it's beneficial if you make X amount of money right now. And I'll raise kids, and after you get done with that, or even you, but maybe not even after, maybe like once you think get... about the financial part of things, just because you have a certain amount of money, that just don't make you happy. Because now that now you're not seeing your daddy, now you're not seeing this, like a lot of people just uh, be like, well, we need the money to be happy. People kill themselves and be billionaires. Oh, no, I'm not saying you need to be happy. I'm talking about if you want to maximize what you're actually making at that moment. NFL is a short window. A doctor, like you say, it lasts the rest of your life, but you can always go back to that. I can't go back and be, you know, yeah, let me go ahead. What if she was on her last year and she had clinicals? Does that change? If you have a kid is what I'm saying. If you just, I'm not talking about if you just married a dude in the NFL. If you in the NFL and you got a girl who's in med school, she can still finish it. Y'all went in college together. Y'all went in college together. You end up getting drafted. But like your drafting career, like it takes takes you a little minute to be on your shit. But now she in her clinicals. We we talk about the game now. (laughs) Uh, no, I think it's somebody in real life like that. Like, their girl was still in school while they was in, I think, the they had a kid. NBA. Or NF- I don't know they had a kid. I think there was an NBA or NFL, and, like, it was, like, some, because he wasn't, like, no great player, but he was decent. And it was, like, Was he making graduate. millions? Was he making, yeah, he was, he was making years. millions, and he, he was wasn't a, years, he yeah. was a decent player? Yeah. NFL, NBA, you make millions, you stay in there long enough, you're going to make a lot of money. I don't know, Jaren. I'm just not putting my dreams on hold for. It's time. not. It's, I'm not saying like, okay, if you just dating and y'all just together. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking about marriage too, baby. Right, I'm you talking married, marriage. I'm talking about you like, I wish a man would be like, hold it down. I'm not holding a goddamn. This, this sound like jail. So, me. so if you got kids though, then what? He just, uh, you, I'm gonna finish school. I'm gonna do what's best for me and my kids. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You do have to do what's best for you, yeah. but that don't mean like, oh well, because you are gonna bring in all the money. That's not saying like I gotta stop what I'm doing and just sit at home with these kids, like, cause I can make money for my kids too. No, no, I wasn't saying that. I was saying like at the moment you gotta think about it. like if it's say like you have a a, a one year old kid. Stop doing for his kids. 
No, no, I'm you saying like you probably don't shit for your I know. You don't like, got to be together. I'm saying, say like you got like a newborn child, like one years old, okay. and your man's in the NBA. Like, yo, I'm gonna be on road. I got training, I got practice, and my performance is based on the stuff I can just focus on. I can just try to focus on that for right now. And then like, okay, after I get this big contract, we cool. You can go back do what you want to do. You wouldn't just say like, okay, you know what? That kind of makes a little bit of sense. And we got a kid. But, not, but, not talking about like. But I, need, but I think for me, I would need a time frame. Like I, I can't just take like a like. Oh well, it it could be like I need a time frame. Like how long do I, I have mean. to pause my life? Because a time frame that time frame can be goddamn tw- ten years. Oh no, yeah, don't don't pause your life like your entire life. But this, I'm talking about but that's what like, I'm that saying though. Like, I feel like at the end of the day, like even if you do decide to look, like being a mom, you got to be a fucking mom. Like you, you taking care of your responsibility, still gonna take care of your responsibility. But I don't have to opt in because then if you really want to motherfucking think about it, like them NFL, NBA players be on the road cheap. So now my life on pause, and you out here fucking bitches on me. That's insane. Little yeah, motherfuckers right. coming out the woodwork saying that you fucking me, you could be the white Howard getting fucked in your butt. No way. <laughs> no way. Shout out to no. Howard. Like, oh, no. Man. So it, it, don't, it don't just all come with glitter oh, and gold. God. Like, it, like if you're really being completely honest, <laughs> it just all don't come with glitter and gold. Like, you're all in your work just like, oh, well, he got billions and he fucking bitches on you. I, I Congratulations agree. to Kelly. I, I, I agree. <laughs> it's, it's never, like, just like sweet like that i understand that i was just talking about like logical in the sense of like the idea not like everybody's exact situation i can't speak in that i'm talking about like i think really what it boils down to is both people's intentions of where y'all see y'all marriage going getting the plan together knowing each other enough to know hey what are we doing where are we going what's the plan so both people have an understanding of what's going on and it's clear and it's cut and also as well like like she said like as a woman, you should not be putting your life on pause because if it was reversed, would that man stop his life for you? Because he, because at the end of the day, yes, she's a mother, but he's a father. I, I get that, but a lot of men aren't thinking that way. You think, oh, well, you're the mom, but you're the dad. Like, if I got something going on too, and this is important to me, just how it's important to you, and I feel like I could take care of my family. If God, Lord forbids anything happen, I need to take care of the family, hold the weight a little bit, because that does happen. Hey, We're in modern yeah. times. And that's a conversation. Okay, this then, how you know, are you going to stop? The of all the kids. Like, yeah. So, so it's just conference. like at the end of the day, and also I, I feel like, like I said, with their situation, they have the money to have the support they need in order for both of them to do what they need to do. So that shouldn't even honestly be in question, because at the end of the day, she doesn't need to be a homemaker. She has something going on. Get a couple nannies. Get some nannies. You know what I mean? Nannies like, do crazy. what you got to do. Leave that home. Like, do it. But I'm saying, if you can afford it, do what you got to do to make sure that everybody's happy and everybody can yeah. obtain their dream. You're following your dream. Why I got to stop until I'm you're done with doing what you're doing? I got to be tired at night with the baby. If you if you go to WNBA, I will happily stay home with the kids. <laughs> this man oh killed me. I seen love from basketball. <laughs> I, yes, I will yeah. be Quincy Jones. What's his name? Quincy. 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 Um, I don't know. Yeah, Whatever, Quincy, 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 I, I'll be Quincy, I'll be in the side like, hey, where the mommy? So it's, <laughs> it, it, it really, like I said, boils down <laughs> to like, I have no problem in your marriage like where both of y'all see what y'all agree on mm-hmm. and y'all boundaries with each other and like what y'all decide on and, and making sure everybody is happy because it's not about one person. This is a marriage. And in their conversation, it don't seem like if it seemed like he dictated that because he was just like, I know, like, she couldn't do what she wanted to do, but she did to ultimately became a homemaker. And some men are like that. that some down. strong religious men are like yeah. that to the point where it's like they still have those old mentalities of you're a woman, damn near your property. You do what I tell you to do. You make those babies. You stay at home and clean the house and do this, this and that. And I'm going to handle what I want to handle. And I might be having some fun on the nah, side. Yeah, but, that, that you know, shit, that, but that's... you have you don't speak out. You don't say nothing. Mm-hmm. You be a good wife because at least you are my wife. Now, in that regard, yeah, that's. I don't agree with that. It should never be forceful. Like I said, like I said, conversation and you both agree, like, yo, okay, you know, it might be beneficial if I be cool. the home, whatever, right now. Or in general, maybe that's what you just want to be now at this point. Who knows? But yeah, conversation never forceful. But, nah, but I feel like uh, when you said about like the old and times, like the people like basically saying, I agree with that. A lot of people like don't uh, evolve with the times. Yeah, they be stuck on not evolving. Them. And we, we, we got to, re- we in 2024, like, Y'all, like I said, like she said, the the Bible is meant to be used as a reference. You don't necessarily have to, you know, uh, live directly by the quotes. Like, it's, it's, you use it as a tool in everyday life. So it's just like, 
I don't know. That's that's crazy to me. Like, yeah, I won't say it, but like the everyday life, we don't listen to like in everyday life and like people still stuck on the old and times or whatever. It's kind of like even like. I'm going to switch to the next topic, um, to Congress. Like, they had the little situation this weekend about... <laughs> everybody take a shot. We need one at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking a shot when I already got. <laughs> I'm taking a shot. Hand me some of that excess milk, <laughs> <laughs> I already got some. Hey, I'm taking a shot. We're not going to force no... We're not forcing nobody, nothing. Right. Y'all want to be diddy. <laughs> uh, no, hey, oh, hey, hold up. Hold up. Just get it. Hold up. <laughs> Hello, oh, hey, respect to Cassie. I want to shout out uh, Cassie, Kim Porter. Like, shout out to all them women. They were beautiful. They are beautiful. They were beautiful. And, like, I really do um, appreciate everything that they went through. Like, like, I hope that they find peace and all the stuff that happened. I'm so like, happy Cassie found her husband. I'm so yeah, happy. Just, uh, her and Sierra. Let's speak on that. Man. <laughs> I, love, I love future. Future cool. Chill future out. Chill out. artist. It's cool, but <laughs> about the no, no. What my bad. My bad. My bad. Let's not even be. Let's let's get off there. That's the next topic for the next episode. We okay. Let's bring up the situation that happened to Congress this past weekend. So if y'all don't know, like, yeah, Congress been acting a fool. Oh shit. Yeah. Y'all that so put some hair on your chest right now. Okay. No. Back. Okay. So do y'all know um Jasmine Crockett? She like from uh she from Texas, right? Um she a house representative or like a um Senate. I think she's a house representative. Yes, yeah, yeah, she's a house representative. Okay, her name is Jasmine Crockett. That's my girl. I've been watching her on TikTok, Twitter. See y'all TikTok, yeah. Twitter, all she the holding she, it down she, for us yeah. black women. So like actually, so um they was trying to see I put up the article. They was trying to see if they from the um actually um Proceed uh, uh, advanced contempt proceeding against Attorney General Merrick Garland over his refusal to turn over audio recordings of President Bi- Joe Biden interview with Special Counsel Robert Hur. So a lot of people don't understand what's going on. Like I still don't really get what the, what's on the recordings that is so important that they want to hear. But I just understand that uh, it was some dishes going out against um, Hunter Biden. There's some dishes going out about uh, somebody daughter who's supposed to be a porn star, or something like that. It was just a lot of this is going on this weekend, and it's like I'm confused because like ain't y'all supposed to be in there having the business like y'all not acting a fool like this, like this fucking Saturday Night Live. But okay, so yeah, let's play the video about what actually happened. Please don't be a commercial. It's so easy to get your windshield replaced <laughs> using Safe Flight. Why don't you just get it fixed? All right, nice so What do we do now? I've scheduled an appointment at Safe Flight. Actually, shout out Safe Flight. They actually do their job. They come out. <laughs> they, they, they come out and do their shit. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, back there. Yeah, nine dollars right. later. When time's expired. Does any other member seek recognition? Uh, Mr. Chair recognizes Ms. Green. I'd like to know if any of the Democrats on this committee are employing uh, Judge Mershon's daughter. Eh. Please tell me what that has to do with Merrick Garland. Is she a porn star? Oh, Goldman. That's right. He's advising. Okay. She thinks she's funny. She, she really does. Um, no chuckle. Do you, do you know what we're here for? You know we're here about uh, just a, a, uh, I don't think you know what you're here president. for. Well, you the one talking about. I, I, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up. No, I ain't nothing. Hold on, hold on. Listen. Order, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> <laughs> order, <laughs> order, <laughs> regain <laughs> order of your order. committee. Order, please. I do have a point of order, and I would like uh, to move to to take down Miss Green's words. Come on, AOC. That is absolutely unacceptable. How dare you uh, 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 attack the physical appearance of another spin. person? Are your move feelings hurt? Her words down. Aww. Oh, oh, girl, baby, girl. She was oh, so really? Hurt. Don't even play, don't baby even play. girl. We're gonna, I don't. We think. are gonna move, and we're gonna take your words down. I second that motion. <laughs> Come on, AOC. Okay. That Miss Green agrees to strike her words. I believe she's Chair recognized. Chair no, no, no. Perry, oh, okay, hold on. Then after Mr. Perry's going to be recognized, then Ms. I'm not apologizing. Well, like, then okay, reserve the right to your word. I am Mr. not Chair. apologizing. No, let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, God. Why don't you like for pain kill? <laughs> Mr. Chairman, um, the, the, the minority. He's self-evident. Chair Chair you don't know. Yeah, you're not. You don't have enough intelligence. Chair recognizes Mr. Perry. Okay, move to strike the. I move to strike the lady. Not move to strike the order. Lady, everything in the. That's two requests to strike. That's two requests to strike. Oh, they cannot take the word. There's another motion to strike your words again. Okay, here's here's the correct the correct apology, Miss Green. Do you ask unanimous consent? Do you agree to unanimous consent to strike your words? 
I repeat again for the second time. Yes, I'll share right. my words, that, but I'm not apologizing. Without objection. Without not objection. Apologize. There there the right to no. yeah, Chairman, I have the right, right to object. This, Mr. I have right. the right to object. I think we got the best part. Yeah, what that part Go back. Hell yeah. Real name. My bad. I, I put the wrong video. Long story short. Nice. Oh, no, y'all got We got to show her. Oh, you want to show her? Oh, yeah. Can I get that white lady no credit? Yeah. <laughs> Giving her clown. Got the Jasmine. I want the Jasmine Crockett video. So, yeah. Uh, but actually, so Jasmine, everybody, the girl says she's not apologizing. Oh, sorry. The girl says she's not apologizing and all this stuff. So then when it was time for Jasmine Crockett to get on the floor and speak her piece, she basically gave she gave her the business. And and I don't even think she was even being disrespectful. She was giving a hypothetical, okay, well, if this is allowed and technically this is a rule, we're not supposed to be doing this. Can I say this? And everybody went crazy. They do what they do to black women. They tried to silence her, telling her to be quiet. She's being irate. She's being unreasonable. You know, uh, she's in contempt. And it's just like, well, y'all just voted to allow this woman to insult. She was insulting not you, only her. And she was the other woman the that was looking out too. She's antagonizing them the whole time. Jasmine Crockett. And nobody was saying the anything. The whole time. But then when she gets assaulted, you know, verbally assaulted, as they want to say and speak on, every white woman is jumping to be the savior in the situation. Yeah. And let's let's talk about it. The white woman tears. That that fits in that category of everybody wants to jump to save her and make sure she's okay. What were they? What were they trying to vote on? I'm so, sorry, I know they, was, they was voting. They, were, they weren't even talking about the topic. They were there to talk about that one. The yeah. the woman, she literally like start talking about stuff that was off topic, and that's why Jasmine Crockett came in. Like, hey, do you know what we're here for? This is out of topic. Like. Oh, we're supposed she, to be here. So, she was so, trying to get back on track, and the woman started assaulting her. See, they was talking about uh, trying to see if there's going to hold Attorney General Merrick Garland in contempt over his refusal to turn over the audio of uh, Joe Biden. And what uh, she said had nothing to do with that, and she was rerouting her like, hey, like, do you know what we're here for? Like, this is not what we're supposed to be talking about. And that's when she started making jabs at, you know, what they call it personality, which you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to assault someone's intelligence anything personally about them you're there to talk about the case of what's going on and that was that's not and apparently she has a track record of being terrible the green lady what is what is she what is her title what does she she's, say? she's another con she is another congresswoman uh but she's with the republican I party so. uh, i was telling i saw man, look is, it really be the Ranger. democrats versus the republicans all right let's see if this the okay, let me play some of this it might not be it though the clip I repeat again for the second time. Yes, I'll share right. my words, but I'm not apologizing. But I'm not apologizing. <laughs> Mr. Chair, point of order. Here we go. Yeah. Who's, who's? It's me. Miss Crockett. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling, if someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body. And that's that where we're here. <laughs> now these correct. A uh, uh, what now? Oh, what? Look at this man back <laughs> now. Look at the man back Everybody now. Everybody calls it so weird. He's trying to call her and laugh. That's crazy. She's part of it. Trying to find clarification on what quality. I, I did. Look at the man back now. Mr. Raskin. He he he's going to pass out. He does not know what to do. You just voted to do it. Y'all did it first. Did first. So you did the father. Voted to do it. Order. 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 I'm just trying to get clarification. Look at calm down. Calm no, down. no, no, no. Because it's always the play. It's, it's always the call down cheering. Go ahead and figure it out. Recognize Miss Crawford. I can't hear you with, with the yelling. Maybe you can hear me. I'm yelling. Calm down. down. Because y'all took calm, calm down. down. And then you you're out of control. Because if I fuck, can we send dogs? Don't verify this. No, no, no. Mr. Chairman. Chairman. Catch me outside. How about that? Kiss me outside. Well, let's say it. Replay it. Replay it one more time. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling, if someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body, body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A, a what now? A what? <laughs> be being messy. What you be a messy? I make a, I make a motion to strike those I, don't, I don't think that's a line. part of it. Trying to find clarification on what quality. Yeah, I did, I, I don't think I ain't laughing. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do this. Look, you guys. Earlier, literally, uh, oh, you just, you did it just first. voted to do. Y'all did it first, so you, you the father voted to do it. Order, order. order. I'm sorry to get clarification. Look at, calm down. Or now. Oh, no, 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 because this is what I'm doing. Hey, Miss you Crockett, you're not recognized. Miss Crockett, you with your yelling. Don't Calm down. No, you please calm Don't down. Tell me to calm down. Calm down, because y'all took calm down, and then you're out of control. Look at the lady in the pink up there. 
Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Uh, chair, chair, okay. Yeah. Security. Hey, okay. Her own people laughing at her. Now, first of all, first of all, okay, that's, okay, I'm going to get y'all opinion because y'all women out there at the door. But I just want to say this. Black women. Black women. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to say this. This is like literally, literally. If you just throw something at somebody, of course they go throw something back at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, or like if you start some shit, you can't be crying when but that's what motherfuckers beat do. your ass. But it's like, yeah. So like, I just feel like on the tactic of what she was doing was antagonizing the lady. AOC jumped in and tried to defend her. They tried to put it and nip it in the bud or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then of course she was going to say something back because she wasn't going to let that slide. She but I just feel like she, she started it. So, because I like, first of all, they every time she come on Twitter, every time she come on CNN, and, he, and they always talking about how she look, what she look, what she look like, what. Mm-hmm. But they never talk about what she's saying. She always standing why? up about injustices. Because she always trying to fight for us. Are, like literally, like they can't take you being a pretty black woman in the brain. That's insane. <laughs> like it's crazy. because like not even saying like because I think every woman is beautiful in their own way. But when you really think about like the people who they have on the news, it be women with bad wigs. Yeah. It be women with eyelashes <laughs> falling off. They don't be aesthetically pleasing. Jasmine Crockett is an aesthetically That's pleasing black weird. woman of what they exactly. So it's just like intelligent, not only. And then I, what one thing I hate about what they do to us as black women, we can never be passionate. It's always aggressive. Like this lady sat here and attacked, and like the whole everybody was defending her. She didn't say nothing. She literally asked. She raised her hand, and they called on her, and she said what she said. And then it got to the point. One thing I always tell tell people, I never give a, a white woman what that for me. The, when she cuts, that's all they focus on. When she's being cursed, now it's just like, oh, she's being on a rate and she's doing this and da da da. But it's just like mm-hmm. she's talking about eyelashes. So when you really want to think about it, everything about a white woman is fake. Y'all want to be us if you want to be completely honest. Ass, titty, <laughs> lashes, hair. Fuck is y'all talking Hold about up. appropriation? Like, like, let's be for real. Y'all just can't take that that black lady up there eating y'all up and looking cute doing it. Mm. And my whole thing is. This is what we are paying for with our tax dollars. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's number one. Congress. That is, Congress. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, 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 no. I said, where was the Washington, Washington, DC, right? the Washington? They're in the congressional meeting right now. Like, this is crazy. I didn't exactly. follow politics like this. I didn't either, but Jasmine made me want to. No, I I started following politics when I actually I got into music and then, like, with the uh, trade market and, like, with the... um. Uh, copywriting your know, lyrics and stuff and I started going again like with me being in a nursing program I looked into it because we write one of my classes is like ethics and pol- policy yeah. so we basically write um an- analytics or uh, analysis on um, bills that's getting made for like healthcare and stuff like that yeah. so actually last night I posted on my Instagram uh, Shy Boy Jimmy Instagram <laughs> but I posted on my Instagram story about like some bills that's actually coming out like they trying to make pass a bill to like change um, the Washington D.C. Um, airport in Virginia to the Trump airport, they're trying to get this man a like, c- congressional gold medal. They're trying to, like, uh, put our lyrics, the rap music, they're trying to put that as, like, evidence. They, it's a lot of stuff I'll that they're about, working on. I'm sorry, I'm Wait, wait, like, that, did y'all see Trump's shoes? Go on Trump's.com. Trump yeah, has some, I know. Wait, did shoes. y'all see his shoes? Oh, no, man. did y'all see the advertisement? They put that black man in them shoes. He hey, could, fuck oh, them he shoes. Told me about them shoes, but when I hell. saw it, look yeah, at the shoes. Yeah, they look boy, like he can go they right look like hell. Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> because who hey, around it we ain't hey, strike this shit like, from the fucking. Don't put that motherfucking shit on that fucking. Hey, no don't show that shit. Don't let some uh, what's them shoes? Ah, Creative Rex. Yeah, back like oh like They like Creative. They need to sue them. Tell me, Kanye West they make them shoes from Trump. And they got a big ass T on them. That was all Kanye. They got them shoes. The T wasn't on them. I would have rocked them in 2009. That Kanye. This fool talking he would have rocked the Trump. You know what? You the problem. You the problem. No. I said take the suit off and look recreations. They do like Creative recreations. He's supposed to be standing on business. They do look like Creative recreations. I had a pair of those back in the day. You know what? You just incriminated yourself even more. I had recreations. I had them bitches. Everybody did. All right. Come on. Get this. Get this man off my TV screen. You would have a pair. Get this fool. And that's the thing. I. I really, I, the thing that I really hate about Trump because I don't like them. 
I feel like I, I, I'm sorry. Let's go get into like a Trump conversation. Whatever. Like, we gonna hurry up and get this off. Like we gonna hurry up and get this part yeah. off. But like no, like with the um the uh, apprentice and all that stuff. He was funny. Like he used to be like you're fired, motherfucker. Like, you know, like, <laughs> like he, he used to be funny as a business. Yeah, man. he, he was, was funny. as a president, a bro. Terrible. He literally just started tweaking out of nowhere. Like it's like he just hit it on the head. As I feel like no man, amazing. Hey, but yeah. they said it too. He's like, not a good businessman. At all. Before he became a, he is. No, he's not. As a white businessman, mm. yes, he is. It's like so all, here's the thing. All white He's a businessman who is corrupt. He's a good. He's good at but what he does. A lot of he, white he, he man takes a lot of shortcuts. Yeah. So he's actually doing what he's meant to do because he is a white businessman that's corrupt and he makes a lot of money through that. He doesn't do things clear cut and how he's supposed. But to. that's not a lot of corporate business. Yeah. They do bankruptcy. Hey. They do pyramid. And they they they, they, they hide like a lot of money in offshore accounts. Side. A lot. Yes. Of things. They, they, they're doing what they're what they've always done with mm-hmm. what they do. And mm-hmm. it was brought to so the light. He doing what he posed, but when he brought when they. When they are I, I, not we, when they elected that man to be president, you got to think about that. Am- America is a business, though. He's gonna run it like he runs his businesses. So what did what did we think was gonna? And one thing I will say about Trump, before he became uh ran for president, someone said like motherfuckers fucked with Trump. All the rappers, and they then, did. All the rappers. a lot and of then, people. And then what's crazy? What he he? I think it was on his uh presidential debates he had. He said some shit. I'm just that shit was just savage to say. He went on there and said. We have a problem with, I think it was like taxes, the tax evasion for the rich people. So how do I know? Because I do it and y'all never stop me. I'm like, oh, well, let's shit. One thing I always <laughs> said about Trump, I'm like, if y'all can't say nothing else, Trump was a a, a real wigger. That nigga got up, <laughs> that, that white man got up there and everything he said he was going to do, he did it. No white people didn't fucking believe him. Now y'all got them immigrant as husbands. And I was just like, I voted for him because you're a dummy. Congratulations. You played yourself and your husband. I don't think Trump was a great president. I think I don't that think he he's just, I think he looks better because we have Biden now. Like, if somebody like Obama. That's like picking the two Trump. evils. Well, I, but I don't like I the don't best even, of, You said he looked better than Biden. But I don't even think it's that. Y'all have the to fuck think out the, president, the wow. president, like I Biden is trying Biden to fix everything that Trump did, though. That's what people fail to realize. And I was like uh, about the whole like how black people want Trump back in office because they compare him to Biden all because of stimulus. I'm like, don't y'all understand? Trump couldn't pass shit without Congress. What Jasmine and Crockett up there doing? So a lot of black people, and I want people, black people, to really educate themselves. I'm like, every the the fucking president is the face of America. He can't do shit without Congress. Everything is a bill that has to be fucking passed. And they, but a lot of black people don't know that. That they like, oh, if Trump said how still, government work, I, they were like, I still get a stimulus. I'm like, no, no stupid. The reason you got the a stimulus, stimulus came from Congress. But it did not come from Trump. It's not even that. We got a stimulus because the whole fucking world was shut down. Why do you think you're going to get a stimulus uh, right now? And then also the stimulus came from us. We actually paid the stimulus. So basically the stimulus yeah. is your own that's money. Shit, Cause then if you think, but no, you that's think about what Trump it. does. They say he's a master manipulator and he does that because he knows that people, the American, a lot of American people don't know how politics work. But and he uses that. that Just like they said, we could have got, though. we could have got they more. She talks about that. Jasmine Crockett mm-hmm. talks about how. He's a master manipulator. He made it seem like, oh, the reason why y'all getting this money is because of me. They said that we could have got our stimulus checks sooner. He sat up there and fought with Congress for so long, and they had to wait off on giving us our stimulus because this man fought to have his name on the stimulus to and make it seem like it was coming from him. We were supposed to get more than that little $1,200 that we he's a to He's get. a manipulator. No, remember, Trump, we were supposed before to. Trump got out of office, Trump was trying to give us another stimulus. Congress kept denying the fucking stimulus. So when everybody just like, bring Trump back. They never gave another one? It was three. It was it was three. It was three? Yeah, it was three checks. But then I the fact about the, it was it was, supposed to be, it was uh it was like a twelve hundred dollar check it was a um a thousand dollar check and it was like a sixteen hundred a sixteen hundred I mean a six hundred like yeah like it was like around that, like yeah. about like twenty six hundred at the most I think it was like that's so it was like oh, oh James I ain't get that I'm a, it was it was three checks yeah it was, it was three checks but if you owe taxes if you owe taxes <laughs> you ain't get shit take it out of your time. Yeah. Oh, okay. but that's, that's the thing sense. but y'all think about it every probably why if you owe they put that I only get that ring that makes yeah hey I get that I get that on my job trees I'm like y'all paid me early what the <laughs> But that's the thing. I feel like literally it's short though. What's going on? <laughs> it's literally like it's literally. That's one word I can't say. Or I can't say. It's it's trying to say. Eight. I can't. Say, that's a lot of words I can't say. Legit. Not, legit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, my English degree. But no, it's it's legit. Like um, stupidity at this point. It's like ignorance. It's like it's feel like it's like the um, b- um face value of certain things. It's like yeah. they don't think about the long run yeah. because like when everybody voted Trump in, it's like it's like 
all the things he stand for, all the things he stood for, you know what I'm saying? We saw that shit come to light. And like the January 6th, like everybody keep trying to say like black people thugs, like we go through this, we do this. Like, like they came to the Capitol and shut that their bitch down. Real That's like, they went real about it. acting the fool. And it's like, if we was to do something like that, we was going to be shot oh, there. And yeah. I, I talk about this every podcast about how the black and white and how this and that. There's two and sides to America yes. as always. There's the, the, people those are the blacks, there's the black and the ethnic, I would say, group them in, black and ethnic, and there's white. But that's the thing with the ethnic. There's two faces saying like, like, oh, the the world isn't black and white. I'm like, y'all, Sorry, I don't know what fuck the world y'all living in, but the world is for sure black that's, and white. That's why black people cold switch. If the world wasn't fucking yeah. black and white, why we cold switch? But then the thing is, like, I just feel like, honestly, if you understand the possibility of, like, going back to the Civil War or going back to segregation or going back to slavery or going back to all this, it's like, literally, we're in 2024 and there's a lot of stuff still going on. Like, the Congo still going through their shit. Like, um, Palestine, all this shit. Everybody's still going through their shit. And it's like, it's 2024 and it's like, the United States is on the wrong side of history a lot of times. And there's like, I keep saying, like, these uh, conspiracy theories, like, basically coming up about how, like, we... Uh, Got our hand and all this stuff, all I had other stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like literally, it's like, bro, he had the fucking um nuclear codes and he lost the nuclear code. Nuke, nuke that man, the codes. codes. He lost, like, he <laughs> <laughs> take a break. I'm sorry, don't get that. I'm gonna not, I gave you. Wait, you let's got go it. Back you got it. White he, woman, had though. Code. he had the nuclear code. Let's Thank go you, bro. White woman. He lost them, bitch. Yeah, I just, as, a, as a black woman, now look, I've been recently started working in the elementary school where the population, like, I'm probably like one of five black women. And when I say, like, they don't respect me. Y'all know I walked into the office the other day with my goddamn badge in there to get my DoorDash, and that lady thought I was the fucking DoorDash driver. No, that happens a lot. That I happens look, a lot. I, and I'm looking at her, so it took everything in me to not be like, bitch, who? What the? Like, you don't see, like, I and I had my kiddo with me. Like, I work with a kid with autism. I was like, you think I just be walking around with... Like and I was so I'm offended. So was like that's like that's him. what we have to deal with because like they so in fear. Like how did how did you get here? Because they don't think we're capable of a lot of things. They don't think we're capable of like you said. Like it, it's crazy on TikTok. It's a lot of these issues are like um, really prevalent, and you can tell because the black women being pretty, white women seriously, a lot of white women feel like black women cannot be prettier than even if they're the most sorry basic bitch ever because you got to think when they sorry basic when, when, bitch when they make when they make <laughs> models like also they when they make black models famous like they don't they be like the like from african natives like and they like, have to be like an extreme they have to be petite of, they have to be petite mean, like a white woman yeah. you would never see no big butt like yeah they all be petite yeah. like a white woman yeah they do um, because it's that european and european um, you are European or you are centric, like mm-hmm. uh, beauty standard that is still prevalent. But however, I feel like we're changing a lot of those times. Like that's not what we consider beauty nowadays. Like, come on, like let's just talk about it. Black women are the blueprint to everything. I love us. all black women, to like anybody to, to live but and they let us bite our style. And, and and I will say, like just back to this, this because we're not even going, we're not even going to bring up her name and give her clout. But this white woman that literally tried to throw stones white women into her hair though (laughs) (laughs) but look like that's that's really prevalent a lot of white women they literally throw stones and hide their hand and cry white tears for everybody to come save them Mm -hmm. when a black woman or women of color just stand up and say hey i'm not going to be just like she we didn't get to see the clip but later on in that clip she goes on a whole spiel i'm not going to sit here and be treated like this and tolerated and this, this, and that. I'm not going to tolerate this the whole time. You were being disrespectful disrespectful to multiple people, mm-hmm. not even just that black woman. You were being disrespectful to multiple people. First of all, the the the, the man told you to calm down. The, like, they didn't tell her to calm down, but they were telling her, like, hey, like, they were, they're trying to speak. She's speaking over them. She's just saying whatever she wants. Like, they literally allow these white women to do whatever. They're not checked. They be going on rampages. And nobody's checking them, but when a black woman speaks up and is very intellectual and respectful about what she's saying, we automatically are aggressive and we're this and we're that. And, you know, that's just the world that we have to live in every single day. Like, people don't understand how exhausting it is to be a black woman. And, like, from my experience, being a black woman in healthcare, like, is exhausting. I feel like no, that's, that's it's, retro. it's exhausting. Because I know we got that last one. Even a Cassie situation. 
Remember, let's compare the Cassie situation to that fucking white woman who Jonathan Mayers, mm-hmm. they said he bit her fucking finger back or something because he was trying to get away with her and all everybody had a hell broke loose. up. They, that man, that man lost so awesome many, ador- he, that man yeah. lost endorsements, brands. They didn't even clarify. They didn't even wait to see if the allegations were true and that man lost his livelihood and brands and, and Cassie on this woman. As a black woman. And everybody's like, oh, is it really true? Yeah, I know, yeah, I know Diddy. The video. I know Diddy. Like, I don't think he would do that. Diddy I know him as a man of power. Person. You Diddy's know, he's a weirdo. When I saw that video, that shit, it broke my heart to see. I'm like, sorry. He, I believed it when, when I, I believed, I believed it, too, it at the But, like, time. to see it, I'm like, he ran down the hallway and literally beat that lady up. And Cassie was a good 98 pounds. Yeah. But let's talk about it, too, of how. There needs to be better protection of black women in general because and let's talk. No, but look, let's put the video. But let's talk exactly. Let's talk about how that hotel sat on that video for eight years because somebody K. paid him fifty k. So you sat on that video, which you knew was incriminating, and you saw what this what was happening to this woman that was. Let's going talk home. about the police saying, "Oh, because it happened so long ago, we can't do nothing." Well, why why are Kelly in jail uh-huh. and why girl Cosby go to jail? Okay, and all of that? okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> the statutes of limitation of certain things do do go away. And well, why like, not no, investigate no, other stuff like, now? No, they can't. They can't investigate. They, at the yeah. end of the post, they said that was LAPD Attorney yeah. General. They said uh, if you have any information that y'all want us to investigate, come forward and bring that's it to us. That's what they, say that's what they said. But no, that's yeah. they said. And that's what happened to R. Kelly when uh, uh, Kim Fox told them I cannot arrest them for the shit that happened in 1985, yeah. whatever the fuck. There but if y'all got something, if y'all got something y'all want to talk about, then y'all need to come oh, to me and explain it to me. So that's why she could. What young Miami going through? No. Uh, the thing That's about that, wait, about. wait, let's let's do one topic first. I feel like the thing about with the with the Diddy thing is I feel like that was fucked up, like out point blank period, like that was just fucked up, like butt naked trying to fight this girl, like. Doing but I don't think th- let's let, let's let the, like, let, let the people know what happened actually because we we kind of just hopped into the topic, but we didn't really speak on like what actually happened. No, so basically, like he, everybody know about the Diddy situation with Cassie. He he, he she sued them for everything that he done to her. And he paid her like uh, within eighteen hours of the lawsuit, and then they closed the lawsuit out. So then, like yeah, um, King, everybody said. That uh, it was CNN responded to King Combs diss track. So basically, King Combs dropped the diss track, telling everybody that switched up on him and his daddy. Basically, fuck you, fuck you, Fifty Cent. Everybody that got something to say about my daddy, fuck y'all. Why and then do that. <laughs> and then I said, like, within like uh, twenty four <laughs> hours, do that. <laughs> within twenty four hours, CNN just randomly dropped this video of uh, him chasing Cassie down the hallway in the towel, whooping her ass Brutally. at the elevator. Brutally and it's like insulting. not even like really like not even I'm not even joking. Like basically fucking her up. And it's like it's not funny. It's like a lot of people making jokes about it. It's not. Yeah, and I don't think that's cool. When we talk about protecting black women it's the skits that come with it yeah like it should be no why is there humor and a black woman being brutally, like literally running from a man brutally abused i think honestly and that's how i'm a frame i feel like everybody a lot of people probably understood what was happening and like swept under the rug and left it alone but i feel like it's like i don't like the fact that like okay it's 2024 that happened in 2016 like why are we just getting the insight of what happened like, mm-hmm. i feel like i hate when people come and like try to bash somebody they'll come and talk, talk to us about somebody you was in the room and the other one, he's whooping the ass. Like, why even send up the den? Exactly. It's like, I feel like everybody, like, if you would have spoke up or, like, fixed Everyone in that camp right? needs to be held accountable. Did but then it's like, that's the thing. Like, interview when he was just like, Diddy told Cassie to shave her hair. And, like, she sh- like Young Doc had an interview. He was yeah, like, this is when they first started. And, like, he told Cassie to shave her hair. And Cassie shaved her hair. And, like, he said, like, it was just like, man, he had so much control. Like, he didn't say it like that, but, like, he said it. Like, he like, had so he much had control. Some, like, how Cassie did not want to shave her hair. Diddy told her, he her to it. shave her hair. And then it became, like, this little, like, that's something that she had to go through. But it became iconic for every woman to else, see. We like, like, oh, she her, just doing the whole time. This is a way to abuse, abuse her. Like, taking her beauty and away from her. her. Yeah, it was her, him taking her beauty away from her in the sense of her hair. And to dom- he did it to dominate her. And, and now we're really looking at the implications of things of, like, what we really thought was like, oh, this is a trend. This is that whole time this woman is going through abuse. And the way that she, like, she hasn't, she spoke a little bit about it, but, like, I love the way that her Great husband looking, yeah. oh my takes God. care of her. He, he's spoken out about so many things. He's her protector. He made and sure it, that, like, what she's she okay. that white man, everybody was like, oh, she went to the white side, not knowing that this man was abusing her for all the guys. And then, him. also, yeah. they don't know that that man was also around her when this stuff was going on. He and actually helped her, her. Ex- exit that relationship and get away. He was around because he was her personal trainer back then. He was the personal trainer. So he, he saw some of these things going on, too, so we can't just denote that as well. 
Don't say it, please. So no, 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 no. Because I was actually thinking about something else. Because you were saying like about the uh, skits and stuff and comedy. Mm-hmm. And I was, I was gonna say like, I think with that, it's like more so timing because people make fun of skits and comedians do shit all the time about people's trauma from the past before. Like, look all the yeah. Tina I mean, I Turner. Think this is definitely I mean, not the right. I said timing would be wrong. Like, because even like with the. I don't know if y'all see like that roast of Tom Brady. They was making like a lot of Aaron Hernandez jokes. Like they did a lot, and like his wife was like really like mad about it. But like he been he did this shit like what ten years ago at this point. Yeah, but even then, you can't tell someone when their trauma is gonna heal. Like I think their needs. Like I get it in comedy. I get it in comedy. However, I think that there needs to be some type of accountability and sensibility into like when you're talking about and joking about people's trauma. There are some things to joke about, but, like, some things, it's, like, you really got to think about, like, is this going to affect somebody? Is it going to trigger somebody? And if, and if you just don't care, and, that's, and I get it. You can spin certain things, but, like, when it comes to specifically certain like abuse, things, that should never go the way because people don't understand how traumatic stuff happens. You can be watching a movie where somebody's getting abused and it triggers you. Like, you can hear a word and it triggers you. People don't understand how trigger works. Like, and then they have the whole I, internet. Yeah, like, watching, I can be sitting right here and, and you say something and it just triggers me and you don't know that you triggered me. So, like, when people be like, oh, it's just time and it ain't nothing that, like, if you ever had got raped in the past, you don't fucking know, like, what's gonna trigger that person. Like, that's something that you, that person has to literally live with for the rest of their life and it took her so long to heal from it and, like, put it to the light and, like, then when she put it to the light, people Everyone's were like, why didn't you just do this do now that. like exactly. have you been through yeah. that have you went through a healing process so now she you know, can you see in a whole nother healing process because now she got to relive what the fuck that man did to her and it's a potential that more videos are going to come back so now exactly. she got to relive it all the video it. with everybody now is seeing yeah and also yeah. joking about she got to see the jokes online like that's crazy. Then her kids can grow up and see that shit. That's where it really hit. Like when your kids grow up and you just Google mommy. You oh, them, see all of a and you see your mama getting beat. Like don't like that's crazy. I mean, I agree with that part. It definitely could be like things you got to be more sense. I think a lot of people know like certain things you're not supposed to joke about. You can't make fun of. And let's be honest, these motherfucking Instagram little skits. Y'all not comedians, bro. Y'all not comedians. Y'all, y'all not Chris Rocks. Y'all not Kevin Hart's, bro. Y'all trying to get a little ha 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 ha, and it's not funny. I just think certain shit is not uh, appropriate Laughable. to joke about. Some yeah. stuff is going to get them canceled. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, you're going to look, I'm not going to lie. Like, with this stuff, like I said, certain things, certain people don't play about. And like I said, everyone has the right to do whatever they want to do, feel how they mm-hmm. want to feel. However, you're going to lose some of your audience. I'm saying, you can, some of these you can, things. You can block your own blessing trying to you get can. a little Because now, yeah. guess what? A lot of these comedians, I was just joking about that. I don't support you anymore. No. I don't follow you. Like you're you're canceled in my eyes. It's just so. the fact that like, cause karma don't wait on nobody. Like it can yeah, go. It can go to you. It go to your I mama. Go to your kids. Go to your daddy. Go to whatever. And then, like, like, how like, you can never you know. Think, how can you think like that's funny right now? And, and, and for me, like that's just I'm trying to wrap my head around. Like I get it. You're a comedian, but how I'm just trying to see how like what did you the find humor in it? to be like? Oh, let me put it. Especially down. like like you said, maybe it's five five or ten years down the line, it resurface, pop up, whatever. But right now, this woman a day is after, clearly it wasn't going the same day. Right? It was the same, same, day. same day. You talking about what yeah. Yeah. yeah, So it's just like skit. that shit was crazy. So it's and just like even, for me, you don't even need it because what would be the last part of the fucking skit? The elevator? Because you can't say that that he shit did was for not reaction the reaction though. But I think he did a skit too. I think but, he did do a skit. Okay, I looked at the man's story. The man said that he said we overreact and we don't even understand. He been recorded it, and that's not about Cassie. So, so I'm gonna leave it alone. But why would you post it and you just saw that fucking video? Reaction. I think honestly, think uh-huh. I think it was about Cassie. Like to be clear, it, it, it was. It was because it how how and, and it's not like. Maybe you did already record this or whatever, but it's just bad timing. You did that to get a reaction because of this. Like, clearly you were trying to copy would be different. the Cassie situation because they had just dropped that. Nobody else had that video until that day when it dropped. And so it's just like, why would you drop that? Giving him the benefit of the doubt. Because I, I, I'm guessing because, like, he probably thought it was funny how Diddy ran out. Thought, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt of that. But, but the, end the, the, was the end result was the end result. Like, the end result was the end result. When he fucking finally got there, like, what was the result? that's so, all yeah maybe it was ha 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 diddy look running down, running the, hallway, down the hallway it was just the, like 
we and, and that's the kind of thing like we as black people have to take certain things serious, especially protecting black women. We're gonna speak on that. People so be so say. people be so shocked when black women go to the other race because it's just like that's what the fuck y'all think. Because it's like okay, maybe that Tell portion me, of it was a bunny. Black yeah. man that I personally knew literally was like putting it on their Instagram story, like with laughing. He, he, ha, ha. I and blocked like, a lot of people. I'm in my goddamn. I did friend you first because, because I'm just like where I did. I'm just I'm like, friended maybe, a lot. Maybe that's y'all goddamn homie. Y'all just like let me support my homie, oh. but like. Where's the account video? For didn't, your friend? didn't know Cassie. Yeah. No, like the skin bone. A lot of my friends like like reposting it on their story. I like I said, wow. I had what? to come no, at this I, pool. I, I, I'm like, no, oh, they I, were. I, oh, I, some I, men I, were I, literally I, like, ha, this emoji. is hilarious. Like, emoji. a lot of them weren't even. I don't think people it's, laughing it's, at the. But it starts. It don't. It doesn't matter. But it, it, it's like I said. It's the implication. But I instantly went to the Diddy situation. You you can't separate the two. But see, no, no, we made it to try to get a laugh out of that. It's crazy. What, what made it crazy though? Why I think he also posted because somebody just put on posted like skin bone for make a scared of him walking down the hallway with a, a towel. But just because and somebody said that, you gotta do it. You you should have. He's a comedian. He could, he could at least, okay, you're a comedian. But, but at the end what, of the day, people are hit people. The same a month ago from now, would that could would that skin still not hit the same a month from now? Like, why did you have to do it right then and there? My I thing is, you're a comedian. You have, like I said, you have was, every right. Like, it wasn't the right thing. I'm not saying it was the right thing. I said in the comedians, I. It's timing. He's not a fucking comedian. He's a skip. And well, and okay. no, and I <laughs> and you know what? I I agree with you saying it is. And he's a comedian. However, we as the consumers can take that and run with it however we want. And a lot of us think that was not funny. It wasn't the right funny, timing. Yeah. But and it was lot, not. A lot it was not humor. But I feel like a lot of comedians go into that Dave Chappelle like, well, they hated Dave Chappelle. Babe, you're not Dave Chappelle. My dollar, they, my, they should you're put not on the chin and just ran with it. Though. So but Dave Chappelle is naturally funny. He didn't do fucking skits. He was a comedian. He should be do skits. He, but I'm Dave saying Chappelle like, but I'm skits. just like, can y'all see Skip on on stage right now doing some goddamn comedy? No, no, he's not a stand up comedian. Dave Chappelle is a stand up comedian. Yeah, like yeah, he did yeah, his skits saying, and yeah. shit like. So that, she's but saying he like, started off as an actual stand up comedian. Oh no, I get what you're saying. Like, yeah. A lot of these no, guys, I'm saying a lot of people feel like, oh, we can take to the chin because they did this to Dave Chappelle. Not joking. My yeah, thought process. Yeah, that shit totally different. My thought process about it, like, when he just had the Halloween party and they shot up the Halloween party, yeah. I feel like somebody made a skit about them shooting up your Halloween party, then you were feeling that way. Yeah. They did. I they think, did, they did, think they did, that's a good comparison. I feel like, I feel like, that's I just feel like, it's a, it's a, it's a traumatic situation. Wow. about that? And he almost died. Like we're saying, I think that is a great comparison, Jeremiah, because at the end of the day, if someone's to flip it on that, it's trauma at the end of the day when you're like all I'm saying is when you need to be you, careful when yeah. you're joking about people's trauma. When that's you're joking true. and bringing yeah, comedy a, to trauma, I you just need think to that, that's be careful not, about that's somebody else's what if experience. Like Want to be an upcoming comedian and come up to you with a goddamn gun? Your traumaticness gonna come and you ain't gonna find it fucking funny in the fucking. It's like just, just honestly, starting shit is not funny. Point blank, period. So um, let's and everything this. doesn't need a reaction. We gonna wrap this drink. Let's see, we got like two seconds left. Let's see. That's um, what's his name? The kicker, oh, chief cock, the chief kicker. Man. <laughs> Harrison, have some background. Shout out to my girl, um, Jasmine Crockett. She always Wait, holds it. Say it again without the um, because that's a black one. All right, okay. shout out to my girl, Jasmine Crockett, <laughs> for holding it down in the Congress. Her name, the, black woman. Put the, some respect on it. Honestly, we need a lot of more black people in Congress, and we need like the millennials to start running this damn country. Like these these old motherfuckers in there trying to do these old bills and all these old laws. That's how Roe versus Wade actually got kicked out of here because, like, a lot of them still stuck in our 50s and 60s. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, the oldest person in college is like 98. Yeah, they, it's time to retire. It, it's right. time to retire. Yeah, anybody yeah. above, I'm sorry, anybody above 60, you got to go. I mean, uh, let's wrap it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's wrap it up. My bad. Okay. Appreciate y'all. Like, no, uh, what's your Instagram, Jess? Yeah, so I am the Jasmine and Nicole with two eyes and Nicole. All right, go ahead, Bri. Uh, mine is MacDaddy underscore Brenda. My TikTok is Brenda Chu, C H U 93. All right, and I'm Shy Boy Jimmy, and this your boy. All right, for sure. So thank y'all for tuning hey, in to what's... Subscribe to us on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe to us on uh, our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel, WTW Jimmy and J Podcast. And uh, follow us on Instagram, WTW Jimmy and J. Um, once again, this is Shy Boy Jimmy. Thank y'all for tuning in to What's the Word Podcast with Shy Boy Jimmy and J. We out.